Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and right now we are going to finish up and wrap up with our while true loop or just while loop however you want to call it. Now the case that we are going to take a look at right now is how we can for example break out of the loop uh, or use the while true loop or the infinite loop however you want to call it in the case where we actually have a counter such as in the previous examples where we had i then we checked whether i is smaller than 100 or whether i is not equal to 100 and then we perform some tasks so we are going to do the same thing just right now uh, we are going to use a while true loop and we are going to see how we can actually uh, make it work even with an infinite loop so open up your idle let me just go right here type here idle and right here, what we can actually do is, first of all, we will open the the new file. The reason behind that is because we are going to actually use the if else statement and the actual idle per gives me some problems with the syntax while I try to run the if else statement. Doesn't even matter. We're going to write a program right here. And we're going to use a function that comes in Python, which is called the continue function. Now what this function does is basically it just continues the program, it continues the loop and it run, runs it back to the beginning. So let me show you right here what we can do. So let's say that the i is equal to zero, for example. And then let's say we want to enter a while true loop as we do want indeed. So while true, and this is an infinite loop as we know, we are going to perform some if else statements. So just add if right here. So let us think about what we can actually perform right here. So if i is smaller than a hundred, so let us try to perform the same actual example that we did with if while i is smaller than a hundred, just right now we're doing it in the infinite loop. So while i is smaller than a hundred, we want to actually continue and then we want to increase pardon me not increase or yeah we want to increase so i equals i plus one so we are, what this will basically do is it will increase i by one as long as i is not bigger than a hundred in the else case let me just check out right here. If i is smaller than 100, in the else case, we simply want to break out of the loop because it means that right now i is smaller than, a, pardon me, i is bigger than 100. So let us see how this will work. First of all, we need to save this. So go right here on the save. Click here, let's call it, oops, let's go to the desktop first. Let's call it fifth.py. And then we can run the program with the run module. So let me just see something is not going well because we are stuck in the actual loop. Let us see what the problem is. So i is equal to zero if i is smaller than 100, which it is. Continue. Oh yeah, we are not really increasing it. We need to do something like this which really you can make this work even without the continue, but you can add it if you want to. So i uh, equals i plus one. Continue, let me just check out right here. First of all, save it and then run it. Okay, so this worked much better. Let me just check out how we can implement the continue in order for it to actually do something. So if you switched these two, or not switch, if you instead of the con uh, instead of the break right here, clicked continue, you would see that our uh, actual while true loop continue would never really end. This is because it will go right here and it will go in circles. Now the I would never cross a hundred, but our loop would never end either way. So let me just show you if you just click here, save and run the actual module, you can see that we are not getting our prompt back we cannot execute more commands because our while true loop is running in infinite mode. Uh, it is basically continuing and continuing in an infinite loop. And if I just control C and pr print I right here, it is still a hundred. No matter how long we actually ran that loop, it would still be a hundred. 
it would not increase. Basically, that loop, what it did, it didn't do anything. It just performed in every check whether i is smaller than 100, and it just continued to the beginning of the loop. So this is just a rather short tutorial showing you the continue function, which can be used in the while true loop, has some useful stuff with it, which we will show later on. But for now on, that would be about it for the while loop, and it is time to actually introduce ourselves with the uh, actual for loop. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!